15th. Now Wednesday is my Monday. So I will now be working Wednesday through Sunday because I'm the one who is doing the, the markets on Sundays. Uh, me and Yake. So, or Yake and I, excuse me. Um, and then the other half of the Sunday I spent working on the compressor with Trevor. Thank you so much, Trevor. And then I actually went and threw axes with Trevor and the gentleman we're sp sponsoring, uh, Robert, or also known as Big Cat. So we've done a little bit of preliminary work on this guy. Um, he's saying it's still too cheeky in here. And so they have the first ever uh, actual throwing axe that's been mass produced. Um, and you can see how much thinner it is, like, you know, in this general area. All right, so it'll stick better. This, they believe, is too thin. So we're not going for this thin because they're finding it's bending at about right here, whether if it hits the ground or uh, it goes in crooked, it, it, it'll, it'll twist a little bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna thin this down, or like right in the center here where it's the thickest. Uh, I'll bring that down, blend it all together. Um, that, that, that's for Big Cat. And then Romeo, uh, we made this ax for him. And just because this is a little bit different than the axe he's thrown for so long, we're going to bring this down a little bit more. It's got to be right. Uh, you, you know me at this point. I'm going to make it right, even if it means I have to cut this handle off and do it again. I'll do it. Um, so this I'm going to bring down. And it, the head, it head actually has a tiny bit of wiggle in it, which also it's just not right. So I'll either add a circular... Uh, See that one doesn't have one. Uh, a circular one like that, or I'll drill this one out and then add a circular one. Haven't decided, I'm gonna look at it. Um, and you know, it's one of those things of, thankfully Matt's work, willing to work with me as I learn new skills. Um, and I'm, uh, I'll try one thing, if it doesn't work, we'll cut it off and we'll try something else. But either way, it's gonna be right. Uh, it's a cool axe, it's a cool handle, and if we need to cut it off to make it work well, then we will, because it's gotta function as well as be pretty. So uh, that's part of my day. I also have to put the three knives that I finished on Saturday in inventory, because unfortunately they didn't sell at the market. Um, so I'll put those in inventory, and then I'll get going on grind lines, and I have more hand sanding to do, um, and try to get some handles on something else, like figure out what else I have heat treated that I can get ground and get a handle on in the next couple days. Because then we're doing a steel order uh, today or tomorrow, depending on everything. Um, and then once that comes in, it'll be all go on the customs. Um, so that's the bulk of my day. I'll catch up with everybody tomorrow. Have a great one. See you then. Good morning, it is Thursday, January 16th. So I will be starting my day out with finally getting this Warthog Tusk onto this slicer. So I basically planned out like, how it's gonna be. I did this uh, last thing uh, last night. Um, I'll have to change the angle of this tusk a little bit because it's a little off center, a little crooked for, for what we want because we want it to be able to be right there right right there but it's just gonna be fine-tuning it a little bit to make sure that that sits flush so I'm gonna start out by doing that and get it glued up um, I got good progress on vaudeville yesterday so everything is at least shiny even though it's a very rough shiny I went down to 36 grit on these guys because there's just so much uh, so many dings and dents and just uh, imperfections from the smelting process I just was like hey look I'm not gonna mess around with a 60 grit or 80 I just went down to 36 uh, most everything else is at a 60 grit um, so what I will be doing today is taking these the the flats I'll take them up to about 120 and then I'll refinish the grind lines at about an 80 uh, and then I'll probably end up taking the uh, flats up to uh, 220, 400, just so they, they form less scale through the heat treat process. It's easier to clean them up after that. Uh, and then I'll be stamping and straightening, and we'll either be doing a heat treat tonight or first thing tomorrow. So it just kind of depends on, on how quickly that happens. Um, and I think Daniel's completely ready. I think he finished his steak knives yesterday, so that was the, like, uh, he wanted to get those done. I want to get these done, and then we'll do a, a heat treat all together. Um, just makes more sense that way. So, that's my plan for today. I'll catch up with you tomorrow and let you know how it all went.
Good morning, it is Friday, January 17th. So today is heat treating day. So I got all of vaudeville ready for heat treat. Um, I, I took them up uh, about to 120 on, on the flats, which is a little bit higher than I usually take them. Um, just trying to simplify the process of post heat treat. Um, so these are all gonna be shiny uh, afterwards so hence taking them up a little bit higher so i got all my stuff done daniel has to straighten a few steak knives um and then we'll be jumping straight into a heat treat and i'll be grinding on some random knives uh after that um these guys that i pulled from the the wall i'm gonna work on a, a boning knife a slicer and then another little uh kitchen knife uh uh gyoto uh, hidden tang. So we're going to do another hidden tang and then two more full tangs. So that's what I have going on today. Uh, just in between uh, everything for the heat treat, I'll be grinding on those guys and then we'll see what else happens. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Have a great day. Good morning. It is Saturday, January 18th. So what I've got going on today is more grind lines. So this are these are three knives that I picked up while I was waiting for the oven to come up to temperature uh, while we were doing the heat treat yesterday. And so three knives that we don't have anything like these in stock really right now. So uh, we haven't had a cool little slicer like this in a while. Um, and then every time I make a, a boning knife, it, it's sold really quickly recently. So uh, gonna get those three uh, ground and polished. Um, we, I just finished the last temper this morning and so we'll be able to pull those knives out as soon as they're cool and grind on those later today. I probably won't because I want to see if I, about getting handles on these guys. Um, and then standard Saturday will now pack up for the market tomorrow with, with Yake. See, Yake, you have me, Yake, say hi Yake. Um, Yake will be coming to the market with me again tomorrow and just trying to grow that, that mobile business as well. Um, so pretty standard, uh, making knives and getting some handles on them and exciting. I get to try our new technique on wall handles. There will be more to come on that and I'm stoked. I, I tested a little bit on the Warthog Tusk magnifying glass yesterday. Worked beautifully. So I'm really stoked to do it on, on this guy. Uh, I will be doing videos about that as well um, later today or Tuesday, Wednesday now. Anyway, have a great weekend. We'll see you then. Hey everyone, sorry for the hiatus. Um, just was busy not really paying attention to filming but it is january 14th tuesday our uh monday showing you what's going on in my world and i hope everyone had a great new year and holiday i know i'm a little late but uh just getting ready everything for for stock i pushed a lot of my deadlines up until february i started doing this last year so that way i could make sure i get uh things in our, our showroom for stock um i've got two cleavers and a kiri uh and two chef's knives um, these these over here off are already spoken for but um, as you can see I've got a total of these two are already spoken for two cleavers a nakiri and two chef's knives up here I also will have a set of steak knives and then I'm gonna try and make two small carry knives um, we should be heat treating tomorrow we'll see when Russell gets in and, and uh, I'll talk to him and figure that out if that's the case I'm going to work on those uh, smaller knives, get them drilled, ground, and ready for heat treat. That will be my main focus and anybody that comes in today. So uh, starting off the week this way, and I will see you manana, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. It is Wednesday, January 15th. Uh, our Tuesday is showing you what's going on in my world. Uh, picking up from yesterday on the steak knives, I basically got them all ground and uh, stamped. So they are now ready for heat treat along with the other knives that... Um, I showed you yesterday so that set is the set of four and then I will have uh, two carry knives that I'm going to be making and then I know I had one slicer from uh, yesterday that I forgot to show you guys uh, had it sitting on the drill press had to chamfer the holes uh, because I had a big burr off of one of them, so that doesn't allow handle material to sit flat. So I chamfered all the holes on here, um, and this one also is ready for heat treat. So in total, I got a little over 10 knives, I want to say. And yeah, should be heat treating sometime this week. Um, if I can get something up to that uh, heat treat stage before then, then uh, I definitely will put it in the, the batch. 
other than that I should be working on the mini cleaver today um, but I'm gonna see what kind of liner I'll be doing with that and go from there so I'll show you guys some more updates mini on it and see you there bye guys